Hi, my dear students. Today we are going to explain the unit eight. Okay, let's see. Okay, do you remember uh, the types of fractions? Okay, we have proper fraction and improper fraction and mixed number. Okay, the proper fraction, the numerator is less than the denominator. But the improper fraction, the numerator, is greater than the denominator. And from the improper fraction, we can reach to the mixed number. Okay, so if we have proper fra improper fraction, we can convert it in into mixed number. What's the meaning of mixed number? The mixed number is a whole number and fraction whole number and fraction like uh, like one and two over three one is a whole number and two over three is a fraction okay convert from mixed number into an improper fraction do you remember okay if i have mixed number like this two and quarter so we are going to multiply two times four equals eight then add one Add the denominator, the numerator. So it will be eight plus one equal nine, and keep the denominator as it is. Okay, two times four, then plus one, and keep the denom uh, the denominator as it is. If I want to convert from improper into mixed, okay, we can use the division. Okay, if we have seven divided four. Okay, let's write table four, huh? four, eight, and stop. Okay, seven divided four, what is the closest number here? The closest number is four, so the answer will be one. And we will write four, then seven minus four equal three. We know that three is, yes, one is the whole, and three is the numerator. And the denominator as it is. Okay, so we will put 4 and we will write 1 as a whole number and 3 the remainder as numerator. So the, the answer will be 1 and 3 quarter. If we make it like this, 1 times 4 equals 4, 4 plus 3 equals 7, so we will get 7 over 4. Okay, let's see. Adding and subtracting mixed numbers with like with like denominators. If we have same denominator, okay, first one by convert mixed number into improper. If we have two and three over five plus three and one over five, so we are going to convert from mixed into improper. Two times five equals ten, ten plus three equals thirteen, it will be thirteen over five. And 3 times 5 equals 15, 15 plus 1 equals 16 over 5, so 13, then add. We know that in addition, we will, if we have same denom uh, denominator, we will put the denominator as it is. So we have 5 and add numerator, add numerator. So 16 plus 13, it will be 29. So 29 over 5, we can convert it into Yes, we can convert it into a mixed number, into mixed number. So, let's make a division, 29 over 5, okay, let's write table 5, 5, uh, 10, 15, 20, uh, 20, 25, and 30, okay. So the closest number to 29 is 25, so the answer will be 5. 5 times 5 equals 25, then subtract, it will be 4. So we know that this is the whole number, 5, and we will keep the denominator as it is, then put the numerator, and the remainder is the numerator. So it will be 5 and 4 over 5. Okay. The second way, by keeping mixed number as it is. So if we have 2 and 3 over 5 plus 3 and 1 over 5, we have same denominator. 
So we are going to uh, add this. The mixed number it will be 2 plus 3 plus uh, 3 over 5 plus 1 over 5. So it will be 2 plus 3 equal, yes, 5, and 3 over 5 plus 1 over 5 equal 4 over 5. Okay, let's see the next Okay, If we have to make addition and subtraction into mixed number with unlike, Denominator. Okay, here we have 2 and 2 over 3 minus 1 and 1 over 2. If I use the model, so we are going to draw two whole and uh, 2 over 3. Okay. Come in. And minus uh, 1 whole and half. Okay. Two whole like this and two over three, right? Uh, minus one whole and half like this. Okay, so if I uh, so here we are going to remove, huh? We will slash over. We will subtract, we will convert first. Okay, how can we convert to make 2 over 3 like the half? So we are going to divide this, okay, into three parts. Yeah, now we have three parts, okay, and We will divide this also into six parts, okay, like this. Uh, so we are going to subtract. Uh, now, why we divide this into two parts? We divide each one into six parts, okay. We have the main idea, first the fraction we have, Layer 2 over 3. So we have 2 over 3. No madur. Okay, and we are going to divide like this to make it in 6 parts. Okay, 2. The second fraction has uh, 1 over 2. <clears throat> 1 over 2. Okay, so we have here like this. If we divide it like this. So we need to make it 6 parts. So we are going to divide it into 6 parts. Okay. This is the half. Okay. Now we are going to subtract. Uh, how many? One, two, three, four. Uh, four over six minus one, two, three. Three over six. Right? Okay. Four over six minus three over six means one over six. And we will take, uh, we will slash the whole number. One. So it will be, yes, 1 and 1 over 6. It will be 1 and 1 over 6. Okay, it's a planar game. Okay, let's see again if we have two whole like this. Okay, and we divide this whole, uh, this fraction into three parts like he told us, 2 over 3. Okay. And the other fraction is one whole and half. So we have half like this. Okay. To, ca uh, to make the, uh, the 2 over 3 equal to half, we must divide it into 6 parts. Okay. So we must uh, divide both of them into 6. So it will be, after dividing, it will be 4 over 6. And this will be 3 over 6. So if I subtract 4 over 6 minus 3 over 6, it will be 1 over 6. And slash the whole 1 minus whole 1, it will be 1 and 1 over 6. Okay. Did you get the idea? Okay. This is one of the strategies to uh, subtract the fraction. Okay.
if I if I want to you uh, to use that the that decomposing uh, first two and two over three minus one and half. Okay, but first we must find the LCM of three and two. Okay, let's remember how can we find LCM of three and two. Okay, both of them are prime numbers, so it can be three and one, and here will be two and one. So the LCM will be six. Three times two equals six. So it will be two and four over six, and this will be one and three over six. Okay, so let's subtract two minus one equal one, and four minus three equal one over six. By using number line, I know that the, the number line here, you don't like the number, the number line, okay. Let's see, okay. First, we are going to use the common denominator here, like this step, okay. We have here two and four over six minus three, uh, one and the three over six. So we are going to draw number line with six, okay. Let's draw number line. So we have zero and one layer six over six. We know that one equals six over six, right? And here we have two the layer twelve over six. And we draw zero will be zero over six, one over six, and two over six, and three over six, and four over six, and so on. Okay, one the same, huh? One, between them, huh, it will be 1 and 1 over 6, 1 and 2 over 6, 1 and 3 over 6, and so on. It will be 12 over 6. And here we have 1 over 6, 2 over 6, 3 over 6, 4 over 6. So we will stop here and backward. Huh, we will take 1 as first. So if I want to take 1, it means we are going to backward. How many steps? Here we have six. So if I want to backward one, so we are going to back six steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it will be uh, here. Okay, so if I write uh, here, special power, one over six, two over six, three over Four over six, five over six. Now we change what? Two it was six. Uh, six over six. One and six over six. So here we have four over six, and I want to back a step. Six a step. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So six uh, and. We will back also how many we need to backward three three steps more huh will be one two three will be here so it will be one and one over six okay okay if I want to explain again okay let's explain it again. Let's draw the number line here, okay. Zero will be zero over six, one over six, two over six, three over six, four over six, five over six, six over six, layer, yes, one. Okay. One over six, two over six, three over six, Four over six, five over six, six over six, and we need to will be one. It will be here two and here one. Okay, one over six, two over six, three over six, four over six. Okay, now we have two and four over six. In the first one. So we are going to stop here and backward. We need to backward what one. So
So, 1 here equals 6 steps, 6 steps according to the number, according to the denominator. So, we are going to backward 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this is the 6 step. Then, backward how many? 3 steps. Huh? 1, 2, 3. We have 1 over 6. So the answer will be 1 and 1 over 6. Okay. How can we find the like denominators? Okay. We know that to find the like denominators, we are going to like, if we have 2 and 4 over 8 and 1 and 9 over 12. First, we can find the LCM of 8 and 12. Let's, come, uh, let's factorize 8, it will be 2 and 4, and 12, uh, and then 4 factorize again, it will be 2 and 2, so 8 equal 2 times 2 times 2, and 12, 4 times 3, and 2 times 2, it will be 2 times 2 times 3. Let's find the LCM, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, it will be 24. So the common denominator is 24, and 4 times what equals 8 times 3, it will be 24. So 4 times 3 equals 12. 12 times 2 equals 24, so 9 times 2 equals 18, so it will be 2 and 12 over 24, and 1 and 18 over 24. Okay, we have another uh, way, uh, if we can simplify the the proper fraction, first it will be better. Okay, like 2 and 4 over 8 here, 4 over 8, both of them are even numbers. Okay, so we can divide it by 2 or both of them are in table 4. So our multiple of table 4, our 4, so we can divide by 4. It will be 4 divided 4 equal 1 and 8 divided 4 equal 2, so it will be 2 and a half. 9 over 12. 9 divided 3 equal 3, and 12 divided 3 equal 4, so it will be 1 and 3 over 4. Okay, now let's remember the rules. Look at the biggest de denominator. The biggest denominator is 4, and 4 is 1 of multiple of 2, so the common denominator of the new denominator will be 4. So it will be 2 times 2 to get 4, 2 times 2 equal 4, and 1 times 2 equal 2. So it will be 2 and 2 over 4, and 1 and 3 over 4 as it is. Okay. How can we estimate the mixed numbers? Okay. Do you remember the estimation? Okay. If I have 2 and 2 over 3, minus 1 and 1 over 2. Okay. Let's test. Okay. The half of 3 is 1.5 or 1 and half. And numerator is bigger than the half of the denominator, so we will add 1. So it will be 2 and 2 over 3 will be, yes, 3 minus 1 and half. The half of 2 is 1 also, so it will be half. So 1 and half as it is. So 2 and 2 over 3 will be 3 minus one and half, okay, let's uh, subtract, we know that if I want to subtract the whole number, three, it will be two, and the denominator is two, so it will be two over two, minus one and half, two minus one equal one, two minus one equal one and half. Adding and subtracting mixed number by adjusting the mixed numbers. Okay, we have a strategy called give and take. Okay, 4 and 7 over 10 plus 3 and 2 over 5. Okay, 7 over 10. How many? Uh, okay, Gemma, we need to find. Now, when am I 7 over 10? We can give how many? Or what is the fraction can be add to seven over ten to be to become uh, to become one? Uh, okay, to become one. So, uh, so 
will be 3 over 10 لانه 7 plus 3 equal 10 over 10 اللي هي تبقى 1 right so here we can add 3 over 10 and take 3 over 10 so it will be 4 and 7 over 10 plus 3 over 10 plus 3 and 2 over 5 and take 3 over 10 again okay if i take it and add it it means we and كني ما غيرتش حاجه في شكل الاكسرسايز okay so it will be here 4 and 7 over 10 plus 3 over 10 will be 5 5 plus yes plus 3 plus 2 over 5 minus 3 over 10 okay 5 plus 3 equal 8 and convert here we have 10 multiple of 5 so the biggest the new denominator is 10 10 and 10 so 5 to be 10 we will multiply by 2 and 2 multiply by 2 equal 4 so it will be 4 minus 3 equal 1 so it will be 8 and 1 over 10 okay Four. By the same way, 4 and 7 over 10 minus 3 and 2 over 5. But we can add 3 over 10 and subtract the 3 over 10. So 4 and 7 over 10 plus 3 over 10 minus 3 and 2 over 5 plus 3 over 10. The same. This is will be 5 minus. And the same. Here we have 5. So the new denominator is 10. It will be 4. So, 4 plus 3 equals 7, and 5 minus 3 over 7, it will be 4 and 10 over 10 minus 3 and 7 over 10 equal 1 and 3 over 10. This is the give and take strategy, okay? Okay, here, fractions of unit time, okay. One year, we know that the one year equal 12 months. One year equal 12 months. If I need to calculate the quarter year, so we are going to, if I want to convert it from big to small, it will be multiplied. Quarter time 12. Okay, how can we solve it? We can divide 12 divided 4 equal 3 months. Then 3 multiplied by 1. 1 over 2 times 12, uh, 12 divided 2 equals 6, 6 times 1 equals 6, 3 over 4 times 12, so it will be 12 divided 4 equals 3, and the 3 times 3 equals 9, okay, quarter day, we know that the day equals 24 hours, uh, also multiply by 24, it will be 24 divided 4 equals 6, 6 times 1 equals 6, Half day times 24, it will be 24 divided 2 equal 12 by 1 equal 12. 3 quarter day by 24, 24 divided 4 equal 6, and 6 times 3 equal 18, so it will be 18 hours. Okay, one hour equals 60 minutes, so we can multiply by 60. 60 divided 4, we know that equal 15 minutes, and we know also in half hours, 30 minutes because 60 divided 2 equals 30 and 30 times 1 equals 3. So 30 times 1 equals 30. And here we have 3 quarter hours. We know that in here 45 minutes. Okay. Multiply by 60. 60 divided 4 equals 15. 15 times 3 equals 45. Here, if I want to convert it from minute to second, so uh, here it states. Okay, let's calculate it together. Time 60 also, it will be 60 divided 4 equal 15. 15 times 1 equal 15. And time 60, 60 divided 2 equal 30. And 30 times 1 equal 30. 60 divided 4 equal 15. 15 times 3 also equal 45. Okay, 80 minutes. How can we convert from minutes to hours? 80 minutes it means from the smallest to biggest so it means divide 80 divided 60 okay or we can convert it like 
fraction 80 over 60. We know that we will plug 0, 0 and it will be 8 over 6. How can we simplify? Yes, we can simplify. Divide the 2, it will be, yes, divide the 2 equal 4 and divide the 2 equal 3. 4 over 3, it means 1 and third hour. Okay. Sam studied math for one and a half hour and science for 90 minutes. How long is studying time? Okay, here we need to convert the minutes into hours. 90, 90 minutes mean one and a half hour. Okay, 90 minutes means one and a half hour because 90, if I want to convert, will be 90 over 60, it will be 9 over 6. Divided 3, 23 over 2, layer 1 and half. Okay, so now we have 1 and half plus 1 and half. If I use, uh, sorry, 1 and third plus 1 and half. So uh, let's use LCM, will be 6. Huh? So common denominator and it will be uh, like this. Okay, it will be 2 plus 2 over 6 and 3 over 6. So it will be 2 and 5 over 6 hours. Okay, if I want to find it into minutes, now when I say baba in minutes, one and third hours D means one hour means 60. And third hour, we know that third times 60 equal 20. So 60 plus 20 equal 80. So it will be 80 plus 90. Uh, it will be 170. And if I want to convert, it will be 2 hours and 15 minutes. Okay. Here, adding and subtracting mixed number with unlike denominator. The same. If I have unlike denominators, we have the same methods using improper fraction or using the composing mixed number. Improper fractions, we will convert 7 times 5 equals 35, plus 3 equals 38 over 5, plus 2 times 4 equals 8, plus 1 equals 9, 9 over 4. Using LCM, 38 over 5 plus 9 over 4, the common denominator will be, yes, 20. And after, uh, so here we'll multiply by 4 and 38 by 4 equal 152 and here times 5 and here times 5 equal 45. Let's add it will be 197 over 20. If I want to convert, it will be 9 and 17 over 20. Using the composing, okay, we will take the mix it. So it will be 7 plus 2 equal 9 and 3 over 5 plus 1 over 4. Common denominator is 20 and here time 4. So numerator time 4 and here time 5 and numerator time 5. So it will be 12 over 20 plus 5 over 20 will be 9 and 17 over 20. Thank you.